Hey yo, it's your boy Joey. Uh, don't really want to talk about this, but everyone's talking about it. It's my coronavirus 2020 update. <laughs> been laid off. Six week layoff is what they're planning. Could be more, could be less. I've got the money and with unemployment I'll be able to pay my bills. I won't be able to do anything fun. But that's okay. I got a lot of projects here. I'm gonna do some quick updating. First project I started yesterday. Cleaning up all of this. That is a pile of Jeep parts. This was a pile of scrap metal. Still a little bit there. I need to go through and clean some of it up. I need to break these apart. I need to break these down. You'll see I've loaded this up. I've got my random metal here. Got an old computer, but I got a bunch of wires underneath. And then that side is mostly aluminum. But anyways, Wagoneer. I keep thinking I want to sell this because I could use the money. But every time I get near it, I'm just like, it's too awesome to get rid of. Uh, I bought this. It was cracked. A lot better shape than what mine is in, which is around here somewhere, I think. But then trying to move it by myself, it hit the hitch on my old truck, the flatbed, which I should do a video on one of these days. So I'm going to try and fiberglass repair this. I have the pieces somewhere around here and make this, make these bits better. But I'm gonna get everything out of this it's going to be an LS swap. Uh, we're going to try and sell the transmission. Uh, the AC, I don't know if that's even worth selling. Probably not, because it's old style. So I think I'm just going to pull it off and scrap it. It doesn't actually... It had fluid in it last time I checked. Because I want to disconnect the lines. So I should see if I can make that clutch work. That fan there works. The one in, well, it used to work. I don't know if it still does. The one on the inside does not. Heater box works great. Oh no, this one doesn't work. The one on the inside works because they had two separate ones for heat and AC. Uh, the pumps for my front and rear work. I think the rear works. I don't remember anymore. But because it's been in the sun, they're all broken and shitty. Do you have a replacement stock bumper? And not the old bumper, which I got the new ones as a pair because I fucked up the back one in an accident and like this. But this isn't gonna be my main project for right now. Like I said, I got a lot of this cleaned up. This is just a bunch of trash wood. There's a fuel tank there that's going to end up going in the CJ for now until I clean out the regular tank. That pump should work. It might have water in it. Dump it out. It'll be easy to clean out. Nice plastic tank. Don't have to worry. Going to get this. Clean it all out. Sell what I'm not going to use. Oh, I guess the rear doesn't work because I don't have the squirter. I think it used to be in there. But I want to get the interior to a Cadillac Escalade put in here. And the whole driveline to a Cadillac Escalade. And yeah. But anyways, oh. I hit a fire hydrant. The way it used to sit, it was really jacked up in the back. I think it still is, but that sunk into the ground. I don't know. Hard to tell, but... It was like this, and so when you look out the back, you wouldn't see down, you'd see up, and 
I was in this abandoned uh, trailer park. High class, upper class one. And, well, I couldn't tell how far back I was, and I had a fire hydrant. It was loud. Didn't do any damage to the fire hydrant, so it wasn't going very fast, but my crappy chrome bumper was not happy. Need to fix this garage door still. Talking with Dad, I think we're going to replace it. Finally set up this thing that I've had for a long time. I need something bigger and heavier because I was able to get this top bead off, but the inner bead I was not. And popping the beads off everything is just a pain. I want to scrap all these wheels and then properly get rid of the tires. Uh, you know, eco-friendly stuff. Truck is running great. We have plans for that, but that's for another video. But this baby, the other truck, it's an 89 Grand Wagoneer. I think I did a video on it. I'll link it below if I did. If not, I'll make one. This is the 74 CJ6. I call April. I decided that because I went to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that day. And I was like, I love the Ninja Turtles. April always wears a yellow rain jacket. This Jeep is yellow. So anyways, what I gotta do, I gotta get the brakes back on. I'm trying to upgrade the power steering. Uh, I got the motor in. I may have to pull it off because I was stupid. But, oh, here it is. This thing, I might have to put this in there. I had a little bit of thickness, and I don't know. But when I put it in gear, I moved the truck back and forth. The crank spins. Right now it's sitting on the crank, which isn't good for it. I don't care. This motor was not put together very well. I'm gonna run it till it explodes. Or the transmission explodes, or both. And then I'm going to swap this to an LS. And I'd like to keep it a stick shift, because I think it'd be more fun. The frame sucks, so I want to swap that to a four-door JK, I think, frame. I'll have to do some more research on that. Uh, yeah. I'm also going to finish cleaning all this crap out. I was going to use that, but the steering wheel is stuck on there, and it's locked. Um, I gotta get all the pedals, I gotta get the dashboard back in. Dashboard didn't work. I have a new heater core. I have... Uh, the soft top is destroyed. There's the manual steering. Um, to go power steering, this is a totally different size. This is way smaller, so it doesn't connect. I had the brake booster from the Roadmaster, which I don't think I've ever made videos on. It was a love-hate relationship with that car. I paid very little. Oh, look. There's the book for it. But that will come up in a video another time. Because I do have the wire harness for it, and there's reasons for that. Um, yeah. I did break this tail light, which we're not going to care about. I just want to get this thing running, driving, get some cheap crappy insurance on it, be able to take it out to Muskegon, Grand Haven, uh, Holland. Uh, my boss is part of some Facebook Jeep groups. Take it out some trail rides and tow it behind the green giant there and uh, be part of the Jeep community. I wonder what's in that. 
but like I do have this. Oh, that's not what I want to show you. Make my own spark plug wires. Custom length. Should be pretty sweet. I'm gonna LS swap this, it's gonna be amazing. A truck motor, 5.3, 300 horsepower. The 32 inch tires look massive on it. What I like 35s on, well, everything now. But my plan is to get that thing running, drive it out of there, put the Wagoneer in there. Well, that's a lie. Pull it out, um, clean everything, get rid of all the crap, organize my tools so I can find everything. That Milwaukee bag will be going in the truck. Once I get everything figured out with the tool bed, and then the Wagoneer will go in here and that'll get stripped this motor and transmission are planning to go in there and yeah that's that I'm gonna oh well, I got a lot of shit to sell like I'm gonna try and sell this gotta put it back together got to figure out how to get the wire harness for it out of the truck it's the Bose radio and center console system we'll see anyways coronavirus 2020 Wash your hands, stay away from big groups of people, be safe, and yeah, peace out. Mike says, like, rate, comment, subscribe, watch a new video, subscribe, I don't know, figure it out. Meow, meow, meow.